five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, good evening. You never know where you're gonna watch this. Hello, yeah. 187. Yeah, if you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, everywhere. If you're listening to us on any of those audio formats, we are also in video on YouTube and Facebook. We're all over the map. Welcome to a new episode of this weird, dirty news show. Yeah, Brugnagatki. Mm-hmm. Well, we should change the English name, though. So the people can say it to the Google name, and that's gonna go because it's English. Yeah, we should change it now. Official no. Rudnagatki or Dirty Talk. No. So Megan and Harry had a big interview with Oprah. This yes. Is big news. I watched yesterday. Unbelievable. That's crazy. But Harry, big good boy. He say fuck everybody. We're leaving. Yeah. Even he gets stripped with everything, everything, everything. They took away everything, privileges, everything. And he said, no, I'm... Because Harry said... He learned this about his mom. And run away, he see it, what happened to his mom. He said, nobody helping my wife. Oh, and she said she wants suicide. Mm -hmm. she, she took anymore. And she said... Uh, and he said, okay, so stay home. And she said, I can't stay home because if I stay home, I'm suicide. So she went with him to some kind of event again. Mm -hmm. And he was holding with hands and everything. Because she said, I was so fucked up. I I just want to kill myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was crazy, like sad. And then there was somebody said, oh, we have to worry about what, what color going to be baby. Yeah. And then the... The Charlie, what his name, uh, the baby is Charlie or What's the George? Name? George? No. Something on George, Charlie, George. No. It's Archie. Archie, see, Charlie. So Archie was. Archie was on, uh, you know, like uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, <laughs> Black watch. <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. And then she was like, "Wow!" And they never revealed to Oprah who said that. Because he said, and, and then was like, uh, Ty Blood said about, the, uh, what's her name? Yes. Who? The who chair? said about who though? The Kate. Kate. About, okay, yeah. No, the tablet said that, what her name is? Megan. Megan said she make cry Kate on Megan uh, wedding. Okay. And Megan yesterday said, no, that was the opposite. And nobody fixed this. She make me cry because she say about my uh, flower girl's dresses was some kind of not she don't like it uh -huh. and she pissed me off and I cry uh -huh. and nobody fucking said and that's first time we find out something is wrong how they was in South Africa on a tour like uh, Harry and Meghan yeah and the one reporter say are you okay and then she starts saying cracking to this reporter um, you're the first guy who ever asked me that i'm okay no i'm not and he see it and she said she was like ticking bomb and she said everything was so fucking heavy nobody liked her over there nothing and even uh, uh, harry said wherever you go you say we trap in uh, this fucking uh, situation because uh, they said we have to do the job all the time, and my son, my brother, me, and uh, and uh, Prince Charles, we trap mm -hmm. because we can. We have to follow the rules and keep it going, but we can't go wherever you want. Blah 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 blah. And the opera say, "What do you mean you trap?" And say, "Yeah, you can go." So finally, I fucking quit, and I say, "I'm going." So he said he try call his dad. His dad no answer phones. Mm -hmm. You heard it. And what about your brother, William? And he said, right now we're spacing, he said. But he always will be my brother. So it looked like Harry was the crazy one. He was dressed like Nazi to the, before he was married. Yeah. He was like, rap. you have a naked rape, picture. Yeah. yeah, in front of this. And look at this, how he became father. He became complete 180 degrees responsibility and the smartest from all of them. And that's what she said. He makes so big sacrifice. She said, you saved my life, Megan said. Because I will be fucking hanging myself already. Because mm -hmm. they put her so much down. 
and and Archie and he just quit everything and go. He say, okay, let's we moving out. I don't gonna uh, wait for my mom and then uh, fucking uh, get crazy and end up like you know that. Yeah, because they don't like her either too. Like because uh, her father do the same thing, but look like uh, he said his father, Char- uh, Ch- uh, Charles, whatever. Charles, whatever, yeah. Yeah, the prince, king. And go to your chair. And then, you know, like, uh, he didn't care, like, much. Okay. But it was very, very... You have to watch it. It's very, very interesting story how everything was fucked up and everything is twisted. Yeah, so there's some notes here from the interview. Yeah. Says here that the couple announced their second child. Yeah, they second which child is, is go. Yeah, which is due in the summer. Yeah, it's go. Yeah. Another thing from the interview was they exchanged vows in a ceremony led by the Archbishop of Canterbury yeah. in their backyard <clears throat> three days before they were legally Official, married. Oh, the big show. He said that the other thing wedding. was big show was yeah. for people. They get married self. Three days before... In a backyard. In the backyard, that's it. That's very interesting. Harry said his brother and father were trapped within the system of the royal family. He said his family cut him off financially at the beginning of last year as his father stopped taking his calls. Yeah, he tried to call father... Ask something as he has my grandchild the black or white. I don't know. Did he start? But, the, uh, but look like start a movement. Yeah. Look, look like how he was uh, playing with him on the beach. The kid looked like Asian. <laughs> Whose kid looked Asian? Harry and Meghan's yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Archie. Mm. Archie. Very happy kid. He said how Archie going with him on the beach and they driving bicycle and Archie's on the back. Okay. And then Archie do like, woo! He said he, how he was hairy. The little one, he never fucking have to do with his father. Nothing, he said. Because yeah. everything have to be rules, you know, like just fucking dress and stand there. Yeah. And then, and then Archie's, they asking, the opera asking them what Archie now saying. Archie's two years old, yeah? Mm-hmm. And he's the funny thing is right now, how Harry coming from the house, mm-hmm. Archie's screaming, Daddy, drive safe. <laughs> and he's two years old, drive yeah. safe. Mm-hmm. You know, like fucking come back. It's so funny. They said this. He's so old, but he's like all little man trap. Old man trap and little body because he's saying so. Drive safe, daddy. Says here also that uh, Megan said she phoned the queen after our hero Prince Philip went into the hospital last month. Wait, then here's that. That's what she said on the interview. She said she tried calling the queen. I must. I remember I did something for a moment on. Internet, maybe that was the moment I didn't listen. Yeah, but I watch all show two hours. Yeah. Man, Prince Philip's been in the hospital for a month. No, that day what we said. Yeah, we talked just about it last take week. him to the hospital. But it says here that Prince Philip went into the hospital last month. They they changing hospitals with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is very interesting. Yeah. She's like this. She's like ringing. She's like this. <laughs> Megan's like, I'm gonna call the queen. And then the queen, hello. And Megan's like, hey, what's up, Queen? Uh, I heard your uh, husband, Philip, he's in the hospital right now. Why are you calling me? Why do you care? <laughs> no, actually, she says she has a good relationship with Queen. And Harry, every time Oprah asks Harry about Queen, he says, I respect my grandma. She's my grandma, but she's Queen. But he said, we ne- I never was doubt grandma. She always helped kids how they was lonely without mom how did mom die and everything yeah so so you know like like he always have a good name i didn't hear even once fucking shit about grandma she did something to him and did he said there's everything he understand he was the military so he understand the rules and he said that's the rules and you have to follow it can't be mad on nobody if you don't do this they strip you from this if you don't do this they strip you oh the first the first thing why they moved from this fucking england was decision when they strip archie from fucking uh, have it uh, uh, security and she said what do you mean no gonna have security you say how he gonna be black or white doesn't matter he is not prince 
he can have security. She said, if he have no security, he go to school or something, and people know that's the family of the royalty, he have to have security. So she say, fuck it, we're packing. So she tell to Harry, and she said, okay, no security. So they went to Canada, <coughs> mm -hmm. because common law country, what they call Australia, whatever is under Queen, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and they was here, and then they said, no more security for you guys. And they say, fuck. So they went to California to this, what his name, the, the guy? Yeah, it says here, the couple moved to California <laughs> after formally stepping down from their royal duties in March of 2020. Yeah. It was announced last month yeah. that they would not be returning as working members of yeah, the royal family. Yeah, but they family. went to this California to this black guy, I think. Yeah. What his name was? Tyler Perry? Yeah, Tyler Perry said, come to my house before you set up the house. Mm -hmm. And he said, I give you my security. And then he's like this, we're going to make a movie about this. No, no. He, <laughs> he just, he just, because she invited him to the wedding. And mm -hmm. he understands blackness because they He said, understands blackness? Yeah, because they said, fucking, oh, she's black. Yeah. You know. Okay. So? She's not really black, but she's, uh, you know. She's not really black, but she's black. Yeah. <laughs> it says here, Megan said that she started to feel lonely when limits were placed on what she can do. Revealing that one point, she says she did not leave the house for months. So she was already quarantining before quarantining was popular. She was yeah, just yeah, chilling she, in a big house. Oh, yeah. At one point, she says she could not feel lonelier. Where the fuck was Harry? He wasn't coming <laughs> home every night? No, he was. Hey, home. honey. Well, but they show it. You want they have dinner? Our, they have our chicken from Rescue. They have a chick rescue yeah, chicken. Yeah, they have a cube chicken. You're going chicken in cold. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, you, you have awesome chicken from rescue. And she rescued everything. Like, she's a very good person. And she said, I was, I dropped my career. Mm -hmm. Fucking, I was actress. I was this. I was, how I came over there. Oh, they said, oh, if you feel so depressed, why you not get help? And she says, it's not like I can walk off from the house, order Uber and go to hospital for help. Yeah, you can. No, she said you can. You have rules. They take care of your passport. They take care of your license, driver, key. You just fucking, you know, they take care of you. The royal family. So you have nothing. So she said how she feels something. She can't talk to them. Because fucking she was scared. She can't make herself fool or something. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's... Uh, uh, first time she met his grandma, Queen, they were saying, she said, like, they was driving somewhere in England, and Harry said, oh, my grandma won't see us. And she said, oh, I like grandma, but she still didn't think she's in England, you know, like, mm -hmm. like she, and he said, yeah, but you know the her rules in uh, front of the Queen? <coughs> and she said, what do you mean for rules? So they say, they teach her. Harry, teach her something, you know, like you have to say hello. Yeah, you have to they... tickle the left. Too. Yeah, and then, and, then, and then after, they went to Queen, and she said it was very nice. She said, come to the child. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see Will Ferrell in the background. He hit her in the head with a baseball bat by no, accident. No, but like, very, very interesting. Everybody who, who can get it, I think so on YouTube right now. I see it, 45 minutes only. Uh, somebody posted maybe shorter version. Watch that. Yeah, because it says here that it was a two-hour interview. Yeah, but with commercials. Yeah, so there, there was, was commercials. <coughs> there. Yeah, a lot of commercials. Was Who was sponsoring the Megan Talk about <laughs> interview? <laughs> this interview with Oprah is brought to you by the new Jalupa Taco. <laughs> no, what's like a? I don't know. What's the movies? I like normal shit. Fucking commercial uh, stuff. Shopping off a little bit on end more and then the begin. Says here that uh, asked by Oprah if she was thinking of self harm or having suicidal thoughts at some stage. The thirty nine year old yeah. replied, "Yes, this was very very clear, very clear and very scary. Didn't know who to turn to in See? that time. Basically, she, Megan says she felt haunted by a photograph of her." A photograph from an official event she attended with Harry at the Royal Albert Hall when she was pregnant. Oh, fuck. That's the other story. You know Kate, the William Hart wife, how he have a, she always touched her uh, belly. Belly, yeah. So now Ma Megan touching her belly, everybody, she stole the move from Carrie. She can't figure out how She said, that's crazy. 
they automatically put hands if you have belly, yeah? And she said, like, yeah. yeah, and then and then idiots make the fucking, she's stealing uh, moves from Kate, she tried to be like Kate, and like, ridiculous fucking, you know. Yeah, like a copycat. They're yeah, but they said, Harry said, they have a, behind closed doors, they have meeting with press, mm-hmm. and they said, let it go. Four months, you can't fucking typing nothing and saying nothing wrong about the royal family and they agree if something is behind the door he said they talk to the press and they said cool cool down for a second because it's getting uh, too much bullshit you know what i mean like uh, something and that was interesting that she got very pissed from no not her but even uh, she always talked to Harry, but something she said, I don't want to talk to Harry because fucking he gonna think I'm crazy. But Harry said, you should always talk to me because I know my mom. My mom get almost killed herself so many times before that shit happened. Because it's crazy over it. That's what he see it and run away. Say, okay, fuck it. We pack. That's it. I don't want to do this anymore. We can do whatever we can do. Yeah. I can be fucking, you know, he, he still have a lot of money from, because every year he get paid since he was little. So we are guessing he have money in a bank. Even they chop him off now, but fucking he have still lots of money because basically he don't pay for nothing all life. So he think, okay, that's enough fucking for, you know, go and goodbye. And if they want to do something, they can... People know them. They was travel. They was nice to people. So they can go and give... Uh, he even... He was helicopter pilot. He was in Afghanistan. They put fucking... Uh, you know, like, you know, most wanted fucking for Al-Qaeda. They pay fucking for his head five, uh, five million dollars to everybody who shoot him. So they remove Harry, run away from one base to another. So... Nobody can catch him, but that was big thing. He was against Al Qaeda big, big time. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I remember that days how there was fucking craziness. They was worried about him, and he and he couldn't come back. And he said, "No, I'm staying. I'm fucking with my guys. We're fighting." Yeah. In Afghanistan, with his platoon, whatever he was, the, the, he was like a, you know, platoon. The chief. telephone guy. No, he was helicopter fighter like William. William was too, but the. But actually, William was just rescue helicopter, like mm-hmm. orange ours. But fucking uh, Harry was flying Apache and everything in the war. Mm-hmm. And nobody know him, he was there. Yeah. He was just Harry. He was just a Harry man. Yes. So this is the timeline. They met in 2016, and then they left basically in 2020. So they lasted like five years. Yeah, the it, was, royal family. It, was, it was terrible, it was terrible. Yeah, it says here that Harry and Meghan met on a blind date organized by a mutual friend in London in September, or sorry, summer of 2016. Then they got married May 2018. Then it says they moved to Frogmore Cottage in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Mm -hmm. Then Archie was born in 2019. Yeah. Then they officially moved to Canada. Uh, in March. Yeah, they say they left and the uh, pandemic stuff. Yep. Yeah, March. And yeah. then they immediately went to California because they're like, fuck this place. Oh, is cool. no. You, what happened is, no. They get scared. Fuck, they're going to close the borders. Then we can't get out. Yeah. So they run away, go on a plane, went to California. Yeah, to a country that you could travel. You're no, before, before was not closed, but... In March, Canada was shut down, yeah? Yeah. This is good. Yeah, blue jizz. Blue jizz do. So anyway, so There's that... a big... Yeah, the more English news from us. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah. Viva... Mexico. No, okay. Harry and Meghan. Yeah. Oh, they have a podcast. They have to find out where. It's on Spotify. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They say something. Spotify came or something and over the podcast and they're just sitting and talking. I want to find out what the podcast called. It's probably called the uh, Harry Meghan. <laughs> like, no, Brud- Brudnagatki. <laughs> yeah. English Brudnagatki. Yeah. 
It's probably like used to be a prince show. <laughs> Welcome, I used to be a prince, but now I'm used to uh, no. <laughs> Welcome to the royal used to be people. Yeah, now, now I have we, a I'm podcast. just Megan and just this dirty hair. Yeah. Where is that? We're Man. sponsored by Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life now. I went from a helicopter pilot to living in and a castle. And sponsored by Condom Trojan. Yeah. Super size. Now we're the Super Trojan Show on Spotify. This is crazy. Okay, so what is next? Okay, it's enough. This. A billionaire Mackenzie Scott. Do you remember who Mackenzie Scott is? Yeah, he's a billionaire. Yeah. From Scotland. She became a billionaire because... She showed her two she nipples. She divorced... Oh, the Jeff big guy. Bezos. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she donated like four billion dollars to Science. COVID-19 stuff. Sure. Well, she married a science teacher. <laughs> that was quick. Yep. She's a new husband and he is a science teacher. Hmm. It says here, billionaire Mackenzie Scott has married a science teacher at her children's school. Two oh, she was teacher. Two years after divorcing from Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. That's good for her. Isn't that crazy? Like, you're a teacher, you're teaching the kid, mm-hmm. and then she's like, I want to fuck you. And then you're in your head, you're like, oh my god, she's a billionaire. And then mm-hmm. I, No, so that's I, in your head. No, that's no, 100% he, in his no, head. No, people doesn't care He's about He's like the this. Money. He have good job. Who cares she have billions? Uh, Maybe she, this guy does. No, you don't know. Yeah, you, you see her. Know. You see her every day. How's my kid today? Oh, he's fantastic. Best student. I love him. What are you doing later? You want to get a beer? You want to sniff my asshole? Science teacher. She work with him. No, she doesn't work at the school because she's a fucking billionaire. So listen to what she said. Read this again. I just figured out this from your reading. You didn't figure out nothing. Yeah, read again. It's not a she. Teacher. Is a billionaire. How she find... Uh, from a divorce. Yeah. How she find in love. Well, I don't... We haven't even gotten to that part yet. Read this again. From the beginning. I read the opening statement. Yeah. Bill- billionaire Mackenzie Scott has yeah. married a science teacher at her children's school two years after her divorce from Amazon founder, Jeff Bezos. That's... You was right. You no know shit. Yeah. Okay. So she... Every day pick it up kids and the teacher say, uh, you want some penis? It says he yeah. said, no, I... I We're going to do a science experiment. We're going to turn your pussy into a volcano. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make billion I dollars. Why are you going this fucking time? <laughs> Stop with this shit. Holy shit, this is really an Amazon. <laughs> we got to cut through this jungle quick. <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, so much... M- so they met, and... He's like this. In he went into her house with a machete. He's like, holy shit, so much money everywhere. <laughs> I, can't, I can't fucking see where the couch is. I just Imagine see, if you change the bitcoins. I just see dollar bills everywhere. She just, just have the fucking coins everywhere. Yeah. It says here, Miss Scott is one of the richest women in the world and has given away more than $4 billion see, dollars of her fortune. I know. Still, richest woman in the world giving away $4 billion. Dollars. I, he give her that day, she get it. She never has to pay taxes for no, the rest no, of her no, life no. now. I think so. They, that day, there was $148 billion, So she got it, let's say, $70 billion for sure. Because that's half. He gave her half. And he still was fucking almost the richest guy on the planet. Without half. It says here she married a guy named Dan Jewett. Jew with. Yeah, Jewett. What Jew? Yeah. <laughs> he just escaped Jew from. It. She came. He came from fucking the experiment, and he said, "I'm wet and I'm Jew." Yeah. And she said, "Oh my love." I need to dry myself with her hundred dollar bills. Hold on, there's so many of them. Yeah, yeah. It says here that she said that Dan is such a great guy, and I am happy. And excited for the both of them. Be- That's what Jeff Bezos said. Oh, yeah. He have another fucking crazy chick. You see Jeff Bezos' chick? No. No. Check it out. So, it's a- okay. So, wait. So, Miss Scott, which is the ex-wife. Yeah. She is worth around $53 billion, yeah, so according to Forbes' yeah. most recent estimate. Yeah. And she gave away $4 billion. That's yeah, crazy. for COVID. 
has oh, been... Oh no, um, something happened. I don't know, COVID or some kind of no, it says disaster here, shit. No, something. it says here that she has devoted much of her donations on women-led charities, food banks, and black colleges. Fuck, these women need a lot of food for their <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out checks probably from her donation. Fuck! Imagine you're like at a black college and they're like, oh, this woman, uh, Mackenzie Scott, just gave us uh, one billion dollars. We make pixel fucking operation, we're all white tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they're like this, holy shit. I know, it's crazy. Joe Bezos' new girlfriend. His name's not Joe. What is his name? Jeff. Jeff Bezos' new girlfriend. Oh, no, that's wife. This is Laura great. You want to see what this guy looks like? This guy definitely hit the jackpot. <laughs> Wait a second. Look at this picture of both of them. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, he's like he's like you. So, what does <laughs> with mean? a fatter head. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying you could probably find a billionaire somewhere. <laughs> you just have to teach science. <laughs> it says here, um, at the time of their 2019 divorce, Mr. Bezos was the wealthiest person in the world, with high stake. Of more than 16% of Amazon. Miss Scott received 4% of Amazon shares as part of their divorce. So does she still have shares in the fucking company? That's crazy. Of course. She said, fucking we start together. The sure. Amazon founder uh, regularly jostle with Tesla, Elon Musk, for the title of the world's richest man. That's they go back and forth. Yeah. How Sanchez. much he paid for her. Sanchez. Every time they have sex, one billion dollars. So it says here that Miss Scott, the yeah. ex-wife, is yeah. ranked the twenty-two, the twenty-second richest person in the world, after divorcing uh, Jeff Bezos. She hit the jackpot. That's crazy. She's twenty-seven. But isn't that crazy? Like you marry a guy, and you start a website that sells books. Like that was originally Amazon. It was I remember books. how this started. Even Used now. books. You would get people would find books and sell books. That was the original website. Because people start stop reading books. And that's what he figured out. Why people don't want to go to libraries and everything? Why no library come to you? <coughs> and he said, I'm going to send you books. And then he figured out this fucking stupid Kindle. Remember before even iPads coming yet? Did he make Kindle? Yeah, like he, Jeff Bezos? He, no, he co combined the books to go to Kindle. So make the, you can read the Kindle books on this. And that's very get popular with these books. Well, he started with books, then they kind of shifted to an online Costco. But it was like, you can only buy... What an online Costco? Well, Amazon is just Costco online. It's just you buy random... Costco is online too. You just buy random shit and no, 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 you, and no, no, you no, pay no. a membership. No, no. It was happening... What I remember was with this Kindle, they would start... People would start be very fancy if you have a Kindle. It was before iPads. Kindle was first before iPad. Mm -hmm. So you can read it, books, only on the Kindles. You couldn't allow this to the iPads because they know how yet Apple wasn't have uh, books on the iPads. So the Kindle, I remember when our, uh, Howard even Stern said, I love my Kindles because I can read my books, I can zoom in, I can fucking shit, go quick. And then that was big thing with Kindle. Yeah, it says here, uh, Kindle was created November 19th, 2007. See, right when the fucking iPhone was 2006, uh, I think so 2006 was iPad so it's right but they was first anyway with this shit on it and that's what it moved out because you can enroll any books only to Kindles that's it yeah so that that was his big money maker yeah and then Kindle. the people Amazon Amazon and then he starts fucking switching to this delivery fucking shit yeah and then after he bought the Washington Post the newspaper outlet yeah news then he started making his own media 
Then he started Amazon Prime, like, media outlet. That's show up too very early. Because remember how we bought our TVs, even the first one? I'm pretty video, sure. Was already Prime, like, video over there starting. Yeah. The app. It's very old. So I think so. the TV is 2010. Prime TV app. Because then they start going with apps on TV. On 12. Yeah, I'm trying to look up when did Amazon Prime Video start. Like, when was created? In November 24th. Jesus. It says here, launched on September 7th, 2006, as Amazon Unbox in the United States. Service grew. Okay. We're taking a piss break. Yes. It looks like 2010. I think you're right with that. But it's crazy that, uh, his ex-wife just married a science teacher. She's worth $53 billion from divorcing Jeff Bezos. And at the time, he was worth $177 billion. Yeah, I told you, more than seven. 100% Jeff Bezos is worth even more than that now. We'll see what his net worth is. How much is he worth now? Because he must be fucking rolling in money. So it says today that... So he divorced the wife two years ago. Yeah. He was worth $177 billion. Yeah. And it says today he his net worth is now worth $185 billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still billioning. Loading billions. Crazy, he gave her $53 billion. They they split very nicely. Like, he said, I give you whatever you want. Half, half. And that's it. Yeah, because he knows he's going to make But it, this it time, all how she... Uh, I hope she signed the prim, uh, prim uh, thing. Uh, with the new guy? With new guy, because next uh, week he's going to be 37, the, uh, the richest guy. $25 billion. Because she's going to give him half. Yeah, so it says... Prina, Prina, but Prina. So she's part of this thing where it's called the Giving Pledge website was set up for billionaires who have promised to donate most of their fortune to philanthropic efforts. Which is like, just give your money for bullshit. Yeah, because you have so much... Look, billions... Fuck. Fucking... Hundred million make you fucking live a good life. Fucking why I need this bibillions? Bibillions? Like, you know, like, but you still too, you have to watch for this fucking vultures. Because, you know, you donated to them, and then you see it, the fucking CEO, no profit fucking organization where you're not supposed to take the money. You see, you have brand new jet, brand new cars, huge houses. What the fuck is yeah, going because on? You don't... And Africans still have no water. Because you don't. Like, people don't realize that a non-profit organization means whatever money they get donated, they have to spend it. They can't keep it. I know, but some people spend so it on different stories. There's an extra hundred grand, and the guy running it is like, you know what, I need a new fucking uh, Aston Martin. Yeah. I need it because I have to drive to the charity events. Yeah. And I have to be comfortable so I could yeah. talk to the people donating. Yeah. And he is, see, it's is always nice. But you know what I was thinking now? Like, I'm talking about, like, run away, my brain shift to religions. Mm -hmm. You know, like, aliens. Religion and aliens? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So listen, listen. Yes. The religion shift. Uh-huh. How, how many years are we going to believe in this fucking Disney fucking stories? Man walking on the water... Buddha happy, like any kind of religion. But you know, I'm scared because you see more aliens everywhere now, like the ships and fucking fucking plane hanging in the air and can fly nowhere, just hanging there, the time stuff. I'm thinking that aliens gonna show itself somewhere in this year, and we're gonna be screwed with everything. 
so you're saying when are people going to stop believing in bullshit religions? No, 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 no. But you're believing in bullshit no, no, no. space creatures. No, I believe that. Why not? They believe that the guy walking on the jeep. I believe it more if you are going to space so many galaxies shit. I'm saying why not something is living over Why are we this special? Are you crazy? You can't think like that. Yes, you can. No, you selfish bastard. You think you just got... I'm thinking they there and we the slaves some kind. And they're going to come here, show up, and that's it. Everything's over. They're going to have better technology. Or they're going to fucking use it as like for her organs, like trans... You know, they need, the, let's say they need the liver and have the same liver we. Rest is complete they different. Probably don't. So they're gonna fucking kill all of us for just livers and packing and zip tight bags and put in the freezers. That's fucking stupid. That's like, that's like saying if we went to like a fucking chimpanzee and we just took livers from chimpanzees because we need livers. Yeah! You can't do that. That doesn't make sense. Who say no can? If you, you can't said you can that. save you. No. Say, let's, let's say the alien body. And you pick the one large organ that you could literally cut into pieces and it could grow back in your body. Exactly. That's what they can do it more. <laughs> but listen, what happens if you this one organ, would they live, let's say, live forever? And this one organ always dying. And they say, fuck, how are we going to do? We do the planet the Earth. We make a few billion years because they never get old. So we just wait. And it's gonna be population gonna be so eight billion people. And then we go over there and invite fucking chop off of livers. We have eight billion livers. We pack to the ziplocks, and we put to ourselves. So every alien gonna get, say, one liver can go hundred years. So this alien say, if you wanna live hundred years, you need. Uh, one liver. So if you want to live uh, one million years, because he never go, you need like uh, ten livers half in your freezer. So where this done, you put new one. So I gave you an example like this. So that's fucking. They go yeah, like, but that makes no sense. First of all, why the fuck would an alien have a freezer? Why not? Why would they have a freezer? Why not? What do you mean, why not? Oh, I hear this <laughs> before. We uh, something <laughs> about freezers. Now we change to cover 19 quickly. Uh -huh. Yes, Sebastian was said. Sebastian, what his name, the comic? Malaskako. Yeah, Malaskako. He said he went with his mom uh, to second cover shot. Mm -hmm. And they say there was on parking somewhere. You know, that's a, on the parking somewhere. You know, like where the, they give the shots, yeah? Yeah. So the guy come to them and say, go park on the side and turn off your engine. Okay. They say, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Why do I have to go on the side and turn off my engine? So fucking he was thinking about this thinking. Eventually he see everybody park on the side and engines off. And he said to this fucking, I'm with my mom, she's supposed to get shot. And the guy says, security that. We have 60 people coming today. Mm -hmm. Appointment. We can't open freezer if it will be five or six. So you have to wait for all 60. It's, so they know if it's 60, that's what we told you, park cars and off the engine because you don't know how long we're going to wait. So then they're going to make a decision if we open, we start putting, because if it, they open... They're gonna be waste after. We have to give to fucking every fucking creature crying. You want that thing? Want that thing? We have extra. So that's what is interesting. Like this fucking crazy. But they don't know. See, he didn't know it too. He said, "I'm waiting. Oh, yeah, I have to off the engine. Usually, they arrest me, put me in a jail if they told me like this. You sir, pull me your car and give yeah, me you're your gonna key. think that's stupid. You're going to a vaccination clinic in a parking lot. You think no, no, no. But, that, but that was run away. <laughs> We're back to aliens right now. But that, but because you saw freezer, I said, oh shit, I never hear this. So that's in, in sharing with people. They said, okay, park. We have to have a sixty people because we not gonna open fucking free. Uh, if we have like 10 people just coming, mm -hmm. we have to put to everybody. So that was interesting. The life is very interesting. There was something as Deca, the other fucking vaccine. 
Oh, this is the country in Mexico, like a little town where nobody's sick. Yeah, so there's a city in Mexico. Yeah, maybe. sorry. City in Mexico. It's a matter of the Mexico say They always drink some different shit and they never get sick. So what they said now, this is all this town, no one vaccine. And Biden said, everybody have to vaccine. And he said, no, we know why. First of all, Biden's the president of the United yeah, States. Yeah, and he said. Not Mexico. Mexico, they have... Oh, no, sorry. The person. Mexican president say everybody have, because right now it's in Mexico, big fucking, they give cover, uh, uh, shots to everybody. Yeah. And then they say no. And they were showing them, the chief or whatever, the fucking mayor, and he said, no, we don't need it. We don't have even one. And they scared they're gonna if they give they get uh, cover nineteen they're like something they got sick so they said no we refuse it so that's interesting too like so how people fucking believe in this shit like I said don't believe a duha huha trust the uh, science look Jeff Bezos life she tried science now she had a good time she married science oh, now oh my God she already married. Yeah, that's what I said. She married a So her teacher. last name is what now? It would be... Mary Ju- Nadu Jeff Bezos. Jewett. Ju- oh, Jewett. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Jewett. So her name would be Mackenzie Jewett. Yeah. Mackenzie Scott Jewett. 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 Yeah, what Jew? So also, Pentagon threatens to walk from a $10 billion contract with Microsoft over legal disputes, bias allegations. Which was... So apparently, years of legal dispute could finally end with the Pentagon passing on a contract with Microsoft worth $10 billion and choosing an alternative cloud computer service. So basically, the Pentagon went to Microsoft and they're like, we want a cloud, we want like our own cloud service. So it looks like they don't want like physical hard drives anymore. They want to save all. Yeah, but what is dispute from everywhere? They were just making a deal. Like they're like. Yeah, but what is dispute? What is this make this deal break down? What is dispute? What is the reason why? Pentagon. So the dispute, a legal dispute, is basically Pentagon comes to Microsoft. They go like, we want a computer system, cloud system for Pentagon. We're willing to give you five billion dollars. Microsoft goes, hold on, we're going to call you in one week. And then Microsoft goes, okay, we want seven, bi- we want seven billion. How, m- how much data are you talking about? And then Pentagon goes, this much data. 40 gigs per month. And then after Microsoft goes, okay, that's too much, we want 10 billion. And then Pentagon goes, holy shit, 10 billion. Hey Google, what is the reason dispute between Pentagon and Microsoft? Here are some results from a search. I just told you. you yeah, yeah, but I want a reason why they fighting. And that's not about money. Yeah, it is. It says here the dispute started with Amazon alleging that former President Donald Trump cost the company the military contract through unmistakable bias. So originally Amazon had the contract, but Donald Trump said that Amazon was bullshit. And then the military canceled the contract. So it says here, the process was mired by months of delay and contracting allegations, including a cozy relationship between Amazon and the Pentagon. Yeah, that's what uh, they said. It was together close. Yeah, it says here, then later Trump public criticism of the company says here that the contract ultimately went to Microsoft. For its Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure Cloud, or JEDI system. <laughs> the Pentagon is like this. The military guys is like, well, you, oh, we're done with Amazon. Well, you got Microsoft. We have the JEDI. <laughs> yeah. The force is strong in yeah, this cloud. Yeah, exactly. But the Pentagon has threatened to pull out of the deal due to the protracted protracted legal dispute if the court denies the government's motion we will most likely be facing an even larger illegation process pentagon spokesperson john kirby said 
So this is very interesting. The Pentagon left Amazon. So so that's crazy. How how can Amazon create like a cloud system for the Pentagon? They have unbelievable cloud system for the fucking orders and everything. They have a humongous cloud system. It was showing how this cloud system working everywhere. Like there's a fucking old CD just trailers and they have a hard drive and they're fucking just loading every day everything. But that's but Amazon, Crazy. Amazon is not a company that makes like computers or anything. They they can have own fucking company working for them. No name. Build up everything. That's why they was bigger, bigger, bigger. So they went to Microsoft. Why they left my uh, Bezos? Because of Donald Trump was talking shit. Oh, so Bezos say fuck you and goodbye? Yeah. Okay, so that's it, yeah. So now we're going to Microsoft. And Microsoft is crazy because I'm I'm scared of Microsoft because Mic- all half of Microsoft is in China. So everything they can plant something and we're going to be fucked if our defense system US is going to be in China fucking shit. They say the all F-16s, everything, the all chips is making over there. So imagine okay, if, you, if you they plant something. Doesn't make airplane chips. Listen, yes, yeah, Microsoft no. is fucking microchip company. No, they're not. They, they make computers. They make Xbox. Yeah, that's they a microchip. Phone. Microchips. No, it's going not. To every Microsoft. Ag- they make software. Not, yeah, not hardware. Microchips is hardware. It's not software. What is Microsoft software? And Microsoft. Hardware. Software is like what the system Programs. is yeah. in the fucking yeah, but they hardware. Need chip. Yeah, that's different. You go to a hardware company to make that. That's Microsoft. No, Microsoft. they make Check software. It out. Check it out. That's what? why he made so much money because he made software. There's companies that make hardware. Your computer, Dell. Yeah, yeah, I got Your it, computer, got Dell, makes hardware. So Dell is the hardware, the computer. Microsoft is the software in the hardware. Yes, that's true. But I'm thinking Microsoft company make both now. No, they don't. That's like with Apple. Apple, they make hardware computers. And then there's Microsoft Word and PowerPoint in Apple computers. And that's why Microsoft is such a billion dollar company. Okay. Because okay. they're in Maybe, every yeah, single yeah, right. yeah, hardware. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because they realized software was more valuable than hardware. Do you get it now? No, yeah, they need some good software so nobody can break in or something. Exactly. And then they need cloud It doesn't system. matter what the hardware is because you can fucking yeah, buy... Yeah, it doesn't matter because you now... You can buy any ching chong fucking chip from anywhere. You just need a system within to hold it so no one breaks in. Yeah, but you have to have somewhere this system. Yeah, that's what the cloud is. Cloud is just fucking... But you have to store it somewhere. No. Yeah. You have to have actually storage area for this cloud. Yeah. That's what Tesla told me. Uh, he told you, Tesla? Yeah. yeah. They were showing Tesla storage fucking uh, everything because they have fucking every car running on the fucking software where it's inside the Tesla and it's updating itself all the time. And they were showing how big fucking trailers with coolant and fucking CD. Huge. You walking into just brrr, fucking everything working. Yeah, it says here that the department is looking at as many as 13 alternative cloud projects, including partnerships with Oracle, Amazon, and General Dynamics. So this is crazy. Microsoft might uh, be running the government soon. No, they, they always make for government like... No, Microsoft makes fucking Xbox 360s. That's his, uh, yeah, but they make every software for every computer almost, except yeah, Apple. Yeah, every single computer. Apple making software. No, there is software no. in Apple, yeah. Uh, no, you see. There is, there's Mac Word. You know how in Microsoft computers you have Microsoft Word? If you grab an Apple computer, it's called Mac Word. Yeah, but that's they software. No, it's not. That's fucking Bill Gates. They, they software called Leopard. Lion and everything. That's their software. Yeah, we can't they... have this software. We we get Microsoft software in all rest computers. Yeah. But 
Apple have owned software. You don't realize that Microsoft owns one third of Apple. And that the one third is that you can have Microsoft Word in any Apple computer. I think so they have And they call it MacWord. They don't have that's their own they, they, that's No, they. it's not. They don't have they have that that doesn't exist in their world. So what does the language fucking uh, leopard and everything? That's different. And iOS That's a shit. different layout. Old system. Yeah, you can have this in uh, on different computers. Oh my god, you're so fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you're not listening to me. They have that system. Who? Apple. The leopard bullshit. Yeah, that's their system. But they don't have a system where you can make your own fucking resumes, files, nothing. So that's where Microsoft comes in, and they gave them Microsoft Word. I think so they have it. And it's called Mac Word. So when you download on an Apple thing, it's called Mac Word, but really Microsoft owns it. And that's where they make a shit ton of money. Because they're in every single fucking computer. No, yeah. We know a lot of computers have Microsoft. A lot of computers have uh, iOS. Yeah. But it's crazy how the government is having trouble between choosing fucking Amazon or Microsoft for a cloud system. But that was interesting. Like, how this chip working? And they said, the chip making 14 million operations per second. How does this even pass? How they figure out this, this, this? Collecting shit sitting in the phone like this and squeezing and going and... How? How? Think about it. What? Look at this. You're going to the phone. Yeah. You have movies, everything. How this thing... Yeah, it's called software. Yeah, but what? How? You create a map so everything organizes well. Yeah, but how you squeeze so much information in a fucking little shit? That's what I'm saying. How does this work? How this chip working? I don't know. I don't make chips. I know. We should start up and come I make plantain chips. Yeah, potato chips is good. Right? Yeah, plantain chips. Oh, plant, yeah, the plantain chip. They have the popular type of chip. Yeah. But I have to pee again. Again? Why? I don't know. You're drinking this fucking Get bullshit lighted. Gatorade. Yeah. Blue Gatorade. Next story. China has built the world's largest Navy ship. They have uh, defeated the U.S. And now they have the biggest ship on the ocean. It says here, uh, in 2018, China's president, Jing Jinping, hey, yeah. donned, donned military fatigue and boarded a People Liberation Army Navy destroyer in the South China Sea. Okay. So, who built this fucking shit? I want to know. China Republic have the biggest ship. They can't turn around. They just go forward. Yeah, it's uh, originally like the U.S. have the largest Navy ship in the world. And then what is the U.S. the largest uh, ship in the world's name? Hey, Google. What is the largest U.S. ships? According to All Hands Magazine, Navy.mil. The U.S. Navy's newest warship, USS Sumwalt, is the largest and most technologically advanced surface combatant in the world. Sumwalt is the lead ship of a class of next-generation multi-mission destroyers designed to strengthen naval power from the sea. Yeah, it says here the U.S. Zubo. Office of Naval Intelligence predicted the number of battle force ships in China's Navy would reach 360 by the end of 2020 making it the largest navy in the world by size. The United States plans to how increase long is your their fleet from what? How your ship is long, because I see the, how long is this guy. 
I don't know. I'm trying to read something and then oh, sorry, just sorry. magically interrupt. Because the length is 610 feet. The, U, the um, US ship. Zulu World. It says here at the end of 2020, mm -hmm. it China had 360 ships, which is 60 more than the US Navy, according to... Holy shit. They prepare for something, man. That's no fuck away so many ships. Why do you need so many boats? It says here, four years from now, that they plan to have 400 battle ships. Which is fucking crazy. Why do you need 400 fucking... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. China's Navy battle force has more than tripled the size in only two decades. But in a war, if you think about war, every history... No matter how big you have a fucking float, the boat, yeah. the air always winning. So good because states have the best airplanes. So if something happen, we can fucking sink them. That's what you think now. We have the they have the best airplanes. Yeah. Fuck B fifty two. Oh no, the the Raptors and the Stealth Stealth. Mm -hmm. That thing is since nineteen eighty two, but fucking still look unbelievable. Yeah. So I think here... And they said some new shit is already over there, but we don't know where they were. So, don't mess with USA. Yeah, this article... They is... have a problem with cloud system, but... <laughs> so basically, China has the largest navy. Like, not, they the, have not the biggest ship. They have, like, the most ships. Oh, more ships, not the bigger ship no. from navy. I was thinking... No. The US have the bigger ships. Cool. Zunwald. What? Call the, the U.S. Navy newest warship is built up like um, the plane. What do you call the plane? Uh, I just said uh, no Raptor, the other one, Stealth. And it's the same thing. It's built up from this fucking the rider can catch this boat. It's crazy. China's going to rule the world. Their economy grew four percent during this yeah. pandemic. Yeah. Now they just. Created the largest navy in the world. Hey Google, <laughs> who have the biggest army in the world? According to World Wildlife Fund, the Antarctic blue whale, Balinoptera musculus ssp, <laughs> intermedia, is the biggest animal on the planet, weighing up to 400,000 pounds, approximately 33 elephants, and reaching up to 98 feet in length. But that's good. That's, it's see... But your, your English is so good. You <laughs> asked who has the biggest army in the world, and now we know that the biggest whale is the blue whale, and it's the size of 30, 33 elephants. But that's interesting because. <laughs> Who has the biggest army? The biggest whale on the planet is. <laughs> but I just learned. You know how they said. Did you learn that a whale could be 33 <laughs> elephants? Yeah, but like, the whale have normal lungs, like human lungs, and they live underwater all life. And the killer whales and. Uh, hump wells and uh, Moby Dick well. Yeah, and you know what they no, call well, those type finish. of animals? Yes. They call them mammals. Yes, so the mammals. But I didn't know, I didn't know, I learned this yesterday, that Moby Dick is the worst killer on the planet. You know Moby Dick's not a real fucking whale. It is. It's they a should. made up story. No, 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 they it's showed the... Book. Hey Google! <laughs> Show Moby Dick, uh, well. Here is some information about Moby Dick. Captain Ahab's obsessive sea chase for the great white whale, as witnessed by sole voyage survivor, Ishmael. They have this Moby Dick. Wait. The great white whale. It's not even a real whale. You're telling me this whole time you think Moby Dick was real? No, they said that's the name of this whale. Hey, Google... Show me every well. Here are the top search results. No. Can you can you say to the to show all wells? Okay. What names? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey Google. Name all species of whales. Blue whale, killer whale, sperm whale. Well. Yeah. Beluga whale? Yeah. No Moby Dick whale. <laughs> so it's sperm whale, this one. Let me see. 
Definitely not. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, the sperm whale or cachalot is the largest of the toothed whales and the largest toothed yeah. predator. Predator, see? Mm -hmm. Did you hear how they kill uh, uh, animals? Which animals? Like whatever they want to eat. Who wants to eat them? The whale. Okay, what do they do? We're running out of time. Yeah, We're yeah. Out one you hour. see it? Yeah. What he do? He see the shark? Mm -hmm. With his brain, he send the waves and the fucking kill the shark with the waves. Waves. I never knew this to yesterday. The guy said, the one science. They say the worst fucking thing. They think you now have to even eat you. They just point on you and he waving you and you like your head exploding inside. And and where did you watch this video? The the science say it. Where did you watch this video? TikTok. Of course. No. Bullshit. No. Honestly. Bullshit fake. Fucked up no. TikTok. You believe everything you watch on TikTok. No, now. but that was um, that Did you also Okay. Is how that you Hey, 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 hey. How you said, what is sperm whale? How? Sperm or whale hunting. We're done. This is the show. We oh, have no man. Time. So next time we're going to see how the whale's killing you with telepathically. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> stay safe. Stay safe. Take yeah. vaccine. Yeah. But today they said this one guy, nurse. Okay. He have vaccinated two times, uh -huh. and he get COVID nineteen again. He was on uh, TikTok talking. Oh, okay. Right. bullshit! Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Peace and love. Bye. Bye.